Welcome back, welcome back, guys, to another. Didn't listen. Can you repeat? Welcome back, guys, to another race, race. Welcome back, another race. I'm really? happy. Uh, I just tied my knuckles around the wheel and just go straight. <laughs> and it's round number 16 today for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is our season finale here of this return to glory with McLaren. And we have already returned them to glory, of course, wrapping up the championship two races ago. And we celebrated in some style last episode in Jeddah with a race win after a long while for Lando Norris and a double podium after a long while. I want to have more of that. I want to even try if we have a sniff of a chance of getting a 1-2 to end this season. That would be the cherry on top of really returning McLaren to glory to end out this season. Um, yeah, I mean, there's literally not nothing else really to discuss apart from getting straight into it, basically, because, you know, it's the end of the season in terms of development. You know, we've got four days left, so there's no, no new bits coming to the car. It's just full steam ahead, and hopefully we can just have an entertaining race to end off the season and the series. In terms of FP3 practice results, well, Perez, Sainz, and Verstappen, Lando, Yuki, all, all different cars in the top five. Really good to see. Verstappen has a penalty, so that that's going to be quite big because he was the one splitting the two McLarens in Jeddah. It was Lando in P1, Vettel P3. So that could be huge, really huge to actually accomplish maybe a 1-2 to round out this whole thing. That would be awesome. But it's going to be, you know, we're going to have strong contenders from Perez, from the Astons we know, who were putting up a fight in Jeddah. Uh, Ferrari didn't weren't really there in, in, in Jeddah, but looks like Sainz looking a bit stronger here. So we'll see. And, and again, Williams both in the top 10. So this is going to be an interesting qualifying, to say the least. Hamilton and Russell both Mercs with penalties. Um, not, not that we're concerned with Mercedes because we haven't really been done uh, the whole season. It's really just the big thing is Verstappen there having a penalty really gives us a very good open goal to try and round out in style. Good preparation for both drivers. 95%, 94% on the setup. Uh, 97 prep for Vettel. 92 for Lando. All good and ready to go into qualifying. Uh, the last one of the season. Come on. I'm looking at you, Seb. Come on. Pull out the good quality. You know, we, we know Lando can because he literally got pole at Jeddah and then had the penalty, of course. So, you know, we know he can qualify. He's been qualifying so well all season. Vettel, for one last time here, pull out the bag for us. Come on, let's just get a, a nice solid top five in Q3. Right, decent pocket of air for Lando Norris and Sebastian Vettel to operate in on their first flying lap. So let's see what's it going to be for Lando Norris. He crosses the line. It's a 122.7. Alonso nearly three tenths off, which is promising because uh, we know how quick Aston are uh, and have been in the recent races. But Mercedes are up there, so maybe showing... Maybe there's a bit more pace to find because Mercedes definitely weren't right up there. Let's see what Seb can do as he flies through the last two corners here. He's had clean space and he's gone purple, purple, you know. So is he going quicker than Lando Norris on this first run? Sebastian Vettel crosses the line four tenths ahead of Lando at the moment. Incredible stuff. Maybe shows Lando has way more time to find, really, because if that is the genuine gap between the two drivers, I'll be very surprised. Very surprised, because that's been the reverse of that all season long. Right, Lando's got a second lap here, and uh, we've actually been very good with uh, no traffic on this second lap uh, as well, and Lando improves. Not enough, though, to actually beat Vettel, but he gets closer by three tenths then. But yeah, very good amount of clean air for, for him. Vettel, maybe not so much. I think he just had to navigate a car there. He may just be catching Sonoda as we go through the last sector. But he's gone purple in the middle, so still finding some time. Let's see what it's going to be. Is it going to be an improvement? Uh, slight improvement. Slight improvement. But that's very, very promising. I am liking the look of that. More of that, please, in Q2 and Q3. Right, we've ended qualifying one here. Verstappen going top by uh, three tenths. To, to Sebastian Vettel, so showing that Red Bull have a lot of pace, but this man's going to have a penalty. So that's also pretty good. Hamilton Russell up there, though. In the final race of the season, Mercedes actually looked good again. Um, <laughs> because last few, it's really been Ferrari, um, Williams, and Aston challenging us, but Merck are up there. So that might be, be a spanner in the works, but... Let's see how Q2 goes. I think, uh, you know, some of these times not maybe fully representative. I feel like Mercedes will fall back a little bit just because that would be quite surprising. But they definitely could have brought upgrades. It wouldn't actually matter, to be fair. I've forgotten they, because they both have penalties. So they can be up here all they want. If it ended like this in Q3, it would be a 1-2 for us, a front row lockout. So, yeah, actually, you know what? 
Hopefully it stays like that, the pecking order in Q2. All right, Lando finding a little bit of traffic there, having to overtake one, two, three cars as he crosses the line uh, soon enough. He's, go he's going quicker than Alonso, at least, I think, as it's three purples, and it's 2.3 tenths ahead of Fernando Alonso. Vettel, Verstappen's not had a very good first lap then. Neither has Hamilton, so maybe traffic for them, or just, I don't know, just not a great first lap. Vettel's got clean air, but he's only going green-green, so... I don't think it's going to be quicker than Lando this time round as we go across the line. And, ooh, okay. It's close to Verstappen, but nearly four tenths away from Lando this time. So where is that pace difference gone from Q1 as the sun has fully come down now here in Abu Dhabi? But they're on their second runs. Lando not really finding much time in the first sector. And he's catching up to Verstappen, who's going to jump out the way, thankfully. So we'll see how it goes on the end of the lap as we fast forward through. It's a green middle sector. And I think it's a slight improvement uh, of that. Actually, no. Actually, that looked like a pretty major one. Hang on. Uh, yeah, yeah, about about a tenth. About a tenth he gained in the last sector, I think that was. Yellow middle for Vettel. What's the last sector saying? We're now seven tenths off Piastri, who's gone even quicker. And Vettel's up into P5. But look at that golf. The two former teammates, our old driver, Piastri's up there with Lando Norris. Five tenths clear. Uh, about or well, six tenths for Piastri and about four tenths for, for Lando Norris to uh, Alexander Albon who again showing the Gulf Williams car can get up there over one lap I feel like Ferrari are going to jump in here so this is actually turning out to be a very competitive qualifying session and Vettel's definitely have to go again I feel comfy with Lando I think Vettel we're going to have to go again unfortunately that uh, confidence and pace from Q1 is not carried over right, sending Seb out going to keep Lando in I, I think we're absolutely fine with him it's really just about if Seb can just be a little bit closer to Lando to feel a bit more comfortable in terms of uh, the drop zone hopefully these cars are going to get out of his damn way no stop weaving stop weaving thank you thank you didn't hear a lift off there at all so I don't think we lost any time there with Sebastian. It's a green first sector. Let's fast forward this through. We're not going to catch a single other car on this lap, which is very good news for us. It's two green sectors. Kind of needs to be across the line, and it's a lot better. It's a lot closer to Lando. It's P4. Yeah, P4. Solid. It's a 1-2 for Red Bull, though. They're very closely matched, the the and they are really showing their pace. 1-2 for Red Bull. Signs up there. Uh, Leclerc is on an out lap, so that needs to be a very good final lap here. The pressure is on for Leclerc and also for Sonoda, one of the race winners of this season. Remember, at Spa, he's the one outside the top 10 and Albon is currently in it. Oh, Sonoda's ran wide. Sonoda's ran wide. This is him now under pressure. He's buckled a little bit. What's Leclerc doing? He's on a final lap, I think. Let's just fast forward this through. Leclerc to the line. What is it going to be? Can the Ferrari get into the top 10? Yes, he can. He just sneaks through. Sonoda, I think, well, I'll be quite shocked if he does because he went wide, but let's see what he does. Uh, and it's not any better. Yeah, no surprise there. So to end off the season, the final top 10 shootout will be two Red Bulls, two McLarens, one Aston, one Williams, two Ferrari, two Mercedes. Interesting, interesting. Surprised about, um, well, hang on a minute. I've only just realized then. So that means Perez, for, for how good he was looking at Jeddah, and he's actually been pretty rapid recently in episodes. He didn't even make it through into Q2. What happened there? He must have had a mare. I just didn't notice. I just did, I assumed he was just there. Right, I think I've timed that quite well. Lando's in acres of space. Vettel as well. He's got uh, Alonso close behind him, but no one in front. Uh, so let's see this first uninterrupted flying lap, which should be hopefully pretty solid. Lando, though, across the line. Five, t what the hell is that? Five tenths. Five tenths behind Verstappen. Mad. Okay, horrible first lap for Lando. What's it going to be for Vettel? Oh, he's gone top. Oh, Sebastian Vettel, provisional pole by unbelievably four, was it? Four thousandths of a second, 0 0.004. Unbelievable first lap by Sebastian Vettel. Purple in the, mid, uh, in the last sector. Incredible stuff, incredible. So Lando with work to do to try and bridge the gap. He's the one chasing now, unlike in Q2, where uh, he was the one setting the benchmark for the McLaren team. Lando goes very quick in the last sector, but he loses time in the middle sector, and it's uh, only enough for P4, but it's, it is closer, and I think he can find that time in the middle sector, so it's not over yet for Lando Norris, but Sebastian Vettel on provisional pole at the moment. I, I can't imagine these guys are going to be challenging the pole. I mean, maybe Albon will make me eat my words. But right now, it's Vettel. Verstappen, Hamilton, Leclerc, surprisingly. P5 
Piastri not looking as quick as he did in Q2. What are these guys going to do? Uh, oh, Albon up to P4. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right, they're both out now. And uh, looking at the mini-map. Yeah, that's a decent amount of clean air. Really is. Look at that. Acres of room here to do their one and only flying lap. So this is it, boys. Right now, Vettel is on provisional pole. Can Lando steal that away? He's our reigning Drivers World Champion since two episodes ago, remember? We're the reigning Constructors Champions now. Or the current... Constructors champions. Um, whether it's a 1-3 and we get the 1-2 because Verstappen has a penalty or it's a legit 1-2. Either way, I would love a front row, lock a front row lockout for this final race. That would be such an amazing way to be ending off this season. Let's see. Lando Green. Oh, he had to overtake Hamilton there. But, oh, purple. Purple mill sector. That's whilst he was overtaking Hamilton as well. Vettel's not going any quicker. And Lando has gone and got pole position. I fast-forwarded a little bit at the wrong time there. But he's got pole position. He's nabbed it away from Sebastian Vettel, who is on maybe a semi-okay lap. It's yellow first sector. Green the second. And he goes and gets the second place. Yes! Come on! It's, I think, a legit one-two. I mean, Piastri, he's lo he looks like he's going slow. I think that's an outlap. I think we've done it. I think we've legitimately got a one-two, no penalties to help us, for the final race of the season. Incredible. Land on pole, and look how close it is. Bloody hell. It's uh, 800, uh, 800 of a second to Vettel. Unlucky, actually, not to get pole here, but that's awesome. That is awesome. Our new world champion, alongside the four-time world champion we signed this season, ending their partnership together with a 1-2 front row lockout. That, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? Awesome. Chef's kiss. Right, strategy. We've got... Um, well, there is a two-stop available here. I feel like we should maybe go for the two-stop with Lando Norris. Maybe that might be the way to go. I want to keep things open, though. I want to keep it open. So let's start on mediums here. And if we want to go to a two-stop, maybe we just pit earlier for hards and then we go earlier and then we can, you know, basically do a reverse of this second strategy right here. So going to start on mediums with Lando and Vettel. And then we'll we'll see how it's going in the race. Because we could just control a one-two maybe and keeping each other's DRS. That could be a big motive and vibe of just doing a one-stop. Um, because I remember last season, I feel I think... Didn't we try a two-stop and it just, it, it, we didn't have enough pace. We weren't making overtakes. Might be a little bit different this time around because we know Lando ha can make overtakes. You know, the the last, I think the last win that we had before Jeddah was Austria. And we did a really aggressive two-stop and it worked out for us. So I don't know, but we'll start off. We'll start off with a one-stop because I think that'll just be the way to go for track position, really. Only 58 laps stand between the drivers and the checkered flag here under the lights at the Yas Marina circuit. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole, but can they carry it through to the end? Right, let's get to it then. Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go, the last dance, the last outing for these boys as a driver bearing. Lando Norris leading the way. It's hard to tell on camera, but Sebastian Vettel goes through into P1. It's still a 1-2 for the boys, but it's Lando down to second. Vettel up to first place, but Lando might come back at Vettel. Oh, it's very close, very, very close on the onboard. Close behind is Oscar Piastri from Al Bono in the Gulf Williams and the Ferrari of Leclerc. Alonso has just overtaken Carlos Sainz. Will Lando go for the repass immediately on the opening lap? I mean, I don't, I don't mind which order this is going to be in as long as we can try and keep the one two. Vettel is ahead though right now with a killer start. Coming to the end of lap one, Vettel still leads. Lando second. I I've told both drivers. Low aggression. Low aggression right now on the overtakes. No funny business. You can make the pass if you want. You can race. You're free to race. But let's keep this sensible. We want to keep the one-two. They can swap if they want. They want to make the overtake. But we're going to do it in a sensible manner. And right now, 5-10 to head of Piastri. I'm hoping Piastri is going to be a little slow or just harsh on his tyres. 
And that may back him into Albon and uh, that can be a buffer for us. Gonna go down the fuel and also ERS. Let's just go for neutral, neutral. No battle assist right now. Just gonna keep it like that. We're gonna go... Well, Lando's tires are a bit hot actually behind the dirty air of Vettel. But both on standard because let's just keep this calm with the tires as well. Piastri may well keep on pushing. You know, he's nine tenths back now. Even if he comes and pushes and overtakes us both. The thing is, like, like we had a Jeddah. You know, they may push. We may we may go down. But we're keeping the tyres in check. We're playing that numbers game right here. Already 1% higher than our competitors, which is what we want. Most people are mediums, it seems. A few on uh, softs. Verstappen is on softs down in P12. So he's got some work to do. The man's second place in the championship here. But right now, it's all McLaren. First and second. What's that gap? It's nearly one second. Nearly one second. Going to push on fuel a little bit. Just for one half more lap. Just to see if we can get it over one second. No, okay. No, Piastri's going to stay within DRS. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go battle assist now. Just so if Lando has to defend against Piastri, he can do with ERS. Right, oh, here we go. Oh, Lando's going for it. DRS move on, on Vettel. He's got no DRS, so he's a bit of a sitting duck. Can he defend against Piastri at least? I hope so. And still say second place. Okay, the two drivers have swapped. It was a very low aggression move, just in a straight line, which is what you want to see. Uh, I think Vettel now will have the second bite of the cherry with DRS back on Lando. Um, and that will just allow him to pull away and just try and hopefully keep Piastri at bay. Oh, Seb, is he going to go for it? No, he's not going to. And that's good news for us because the last sector, as we've seen on F123, you know, you can lose a lot of time. Oh, Piastri's gained quite a bit there in, the, in, that, in that quick right-hander. Um, you can gain a lot, of, uh, you lose a lot of time in the last sector fighting too much. But Piastri's sticking with us. Uh, Albon will be the bottleneck, I think, for these cars behind. You know, the Williams good in a straight line, but maybe not so much in the corners. Right, we're getting to the hairpin. Oh, you know what? Piastri looks very close here. Vettel's going to have DRS, but Piastri is so close behind. Let's look at this. Vettel goes for the move on Piastri. Oh, and Piastri's going to follow him through, I think, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do in terms of telling Vettel to close off or anything like that. Maybe box Piastri in to allow... Come on, Lando, just come through here on the... On the right-hand side of the circuit as you're driving. Let's go on board with Lando. No, Piastri goes through to second. To be fair, it's quite poetic, actually. The top three are all McLaren, like, you know, previously, drivers I've managed. This is quite... This is poetry, actually. This is really poetry. As Piastri goes for the move, though, on the outside. No! Oh, he's done it. On the outside. It's a great move by Oscar. It's a great... I'm like a proud father. It's a great move, but... I want to get us back into 1-2. We've lost the 1-2. Piastri's in the first, but with DRS, we can definitely make that pass. I think there'll be a lot of swapping going on. And to be fair, Piastri pushes away by um, 5 tenths, 6 tenths. I think he's pushing a lot harder than us. Yeah, I mean, look at that. 84% to You mad? He's definitely on a two-stop. I reckon, I reckon we go on the one-stop and we can hold this through. Right, literally one lap later, Piastri's two seconds ahead. He's pushing like a stabbed rat. Vettel in second, Lando maybe going for the pass, no, doesn't, he thought about it, he thought about it, Albon is within a second of us now, so maybe we give them the hurry up, let's go for a bit of aggression, give them the hurry up a little bit, yeah, okay, we're ahead, we're ahead, and there goes Lando, we're ahead by one second on Albon, Lando goes for the pass, Seb, oh, oh, oh. oh what's happened there, oh, engine power, okay, just a bit of wear on the engine, it's the, it was the final component we had for Lando, so, it is what it is. Lando with a bit of a worn engine and Vettel coming back at him. Having been overtaken, he re-overtakes him straight away to get back into second. All the while, we are still one second ahead of, our, uh, of Alexander Albon. And we're actually closing a little bit to Piastri, which is good. All right, like two, three laps later. Still Vettel second, Lando third. They've been swapping a little bit. They pretty much made the same move that happened earlier. Lando went past on the main straight. Vettel got him back into sector three. Albon is just within one second. I think we need to... What the tire... What tires is that? These guys are... De he's... De Piastri's definitely on a two-stop. Is He's definitely on a two-stop. He's definitely on a two-stop. So we're just going to... We're just going to do our race. I've got to, I've, got to, I've got to ignore Piastri being there. 2.3 ahead, I think. Because otherwise, I'll be baited into a race I don't need. Oh! They're side by side. Lando looking to squeeze out Seb. And he's done it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's through into second. Seb down to third. Albon's there. He's he's there within one second, but we've we've got enough pace to stay ahead still, and he's not really closing up too much. 
Verstappen, though, what progress he has made. He's up to seventh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Verstappen is pushing rapidly. I mean, 65% on the softs. So I think both Red Bulls are... I think both Red Bulls are doing a two-stop. That's fine. That's fine. They can do that. I think, I think we just commit. We've got a bit of fuel to play around with now. I'm going to go pushing on the fuel for uh, a lap or two. And then we can save it back again in the, in the next laps. Seb's back ahead now as well. Just like fast forward. Ricardo's one run wide. Tyres slightly overheating. Let's bring those tyre temps down. We'll carry on pushing on fuel. And Lando on board with him. Again, going for a move on Seb. And now we're closing up to Piastri. It's gone from, what, 2 point something to 1.6. So his tyre wear is kicking in majorly. And we are gaining back on him, despite not really pushing on tyres. So our plan is working. I think we might even be within one second soon. Let's stop pushing on fuel. We can save that again. We've got the buffer to... Wow. Look at the... Wow, wow, wow. The pace on Verstappen is ridiculous. Thank God he had a penalty, actually. He, he would have just absolutely demolished us, maybe, looking at this pace. He's gone from 12th to 4th in what? Like 10 laps. Mad pace. Verstappen is released. Three seconds to catch to us, but he's on the soft, so I think he's on a different strategy, surely. I'll be shocked if he's on a one-stop. I'll be shocked if Piastri's on a one-stop as well. Right, Piastri, sit rep on lap 17, leads the way. He's built the gap back to three seconds, but what is Tyro saying? 33, he's pitting soon. He's got to be pitting soon. We are looking at that window of lap 28 to pit. So he's definitely, he's, he's definitely on a two-stop. Um, it's interesting, though, because now Verstappen is within one second of us. He's got DRS, but he's going to pit soon as well. Piastri's in. As I said it, as I said it, Piastri's in. So he is on a two-stop. That can't be a one-stop. It can't be. And Max, 38% on the soft. So he's going to be on a, on, a, on a two as well. So we just carry on like we are. We carry on like we are. Let's use a bit of fuel again. Just been going from 0 0.2 to 0, 0 0.2. Just carry that on, basically. Let's go a bit, a bit deploy, even. All right, Lando's got back. Uh, oh, no. Oh, they're side by side. No, lads, why are you fighting in this sector? I was fine with Lando overtaking, but not in the last sector. We've lost a bit of time here. Oh, this is losing us some time. Oh, lads, 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 lads. Please, let's not. Low aggression fight means just in a straight line, please. Just in a straight line. If they carry on side by side like this, I might need to step in and say don't fight because this will definitely lose them time that they can't be risking. He's on the inside. No, no, no pass here. I don't want him to fight though in sector three. If he, if he fights him in sector three, I'm gonna I'm gonna say just don't don't fight because we we can't lose time in this in this part of the race. Oh, there he goes. Okay, please, just just finish off the move. If you can't finish off the move, I'm telling you to not fight because this is this is losing us time. Hand, you know, so much time probably. Yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah, okay, sorry. We're gonna have to step in. I don't want to do it. I didn't. I didn't want to do it. I wanted. I wanted them to have a fair fight for the last race, and they can have a fair fight at the end of the race. But right now, in this period of the race, we'll keep it sensible. Just give each other DRS. Just give each other DRS, and let's do our thing. Right. Loads of people are in. Loads of people apart from us. Apart from us, we're the only people not making a pit stop yet. As we go the distance. Right. I'm letting, I'm letting them race again. Lando, get past here. I think Lando's got a bit more pace. Clearly, even with more tire wear. Look, if you want to pass him, pass him now, mate. I've told you you can pass, but I just don't want to lose too much time with fighting because the Astro's already four seconds within us with this two-stop. Very aggressive two-stop, I must say. All right, pit stop. Pit window's open. I think because of Lando's tyre wear, I'm going to pit him a bit early, I think, yeah. I think, yeah, the tyre was not looking... Yeah, Lando's tyre was not been great here. Well, let's go attack, push, deploy... Right, Lando's really pushed that on that in lap and he's in. Vettel now, it's your turn to push. Your turn to push, mate. Deploy, give me everything you got. Give me everything you got. Lando's in for the hard tyres. It's a decent enough pit stop. 2.8, 2.8, we'll take that. We'll take that. Let's see what uh, Vettel's got on this main straight. Will Piastri overtake him? Let's look at this onboard shot. Looking behind. Pit stop issue for Albon. That might be... I mean, he's not really in our race, but... It's something at least, but Vettel stays ahead by cutting the curb massively there. Um, but he stays ahead, he stays ahead. Right, Lando's out. We're going to go balanced. Go deploy, because he's overtaking the Ferrari right now. Yeah, Get that pass on the Ferrari, and then we're through. Okay, let's go aggressive. Uh, we'll stay deploy for a little bit, because who's ahead of him? Perez, 1.4. Okay, we'll carry on like that. And Vettel stays in P1. I think he can go, probably go one more lap, I think. One more lap in him. 33% tyre wear. I think one more lap in him. 
One more lap, one more lap. Let's stay ahead of uh, Pi Piastri as well if we can. If we can annoy Piastri, that'll be beneficial as well. No, he's going to fly by, I think. No, Vettel gives him a fight. DRS will be available to us if we're second place at this uh, detection point. So we'll get DRS back. We burned a lot of fuel here. But we're going to come back at Piastri round the outside and get the move back. And we lead again with Vettel. And we're now going to come in for hards. Right, coming in from first place. Piastri will take the lead. Verstappen will be in second place. Lando's down in P8 right now, but we are not pitting again. That's the difference. 2.6 pit stop for Seb. Not bad, not bad. Two tenths quicker than what Lando had. Let's come out the pits. And we do come out behind Lando, but we've got uh, more tyre wear, obviously, now for, the, for later on in the race. Let's get past this uh, Alpine, if we can, of Ocon. DRS open. Through on the outside. Come on, mate. Nicely done on the outside to the inside for the next corner. Get the elbow out, mate. Get the elbow out. Or another bite of DRS if you need it. Here we go. And we're through. And we're through. All right, Seb is looking to maybe close up on Hamilton. Lando, meanwhile, looking to close up on Sergio Perez. Can he make a move here? How much have we got some ERS to deploy? Let's try and deploy that. Right, Lando makes the pass on Perez. And Vettel is closing. Let's go for a bit of manual ERS deployment here. As that's the overtake on Perez, but I'm not going to watch it just in case we make a move here on Hamilton. Deploying ERS. No, nothing through there. It's fine. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. We can get him later. Hamilton's going for a move on Perez. Meanwhile, Lando's just overtaken Sonoda. We catch that overtake as it happens. Lando up to P5 now. Up to P5. Vettel needs to get a move on. He needs to get a move on, Seb. Let's get this move. Let's get this move. Sonoda's got back ahead of Vettel as Vettel just uh, overtakes uh, uh, Perez. Sorry, I mean, uh, Sonoda's got back ahead of Norris. That's the overtake from uh, from Vettel on Perez. Just I think on, on the inside and there. I think you saw in the replay that was literally just Sonoda repassing. That Williams is a problem. That Williams is going to be a problem for us because he's he's going to be quick in a straight line. We need to clear him ASAP. So as we go through to the last, okay, now we go full attack. We need to get past him. Push the fuel. Let's get past him. Absolutely need to get past him. Come on, come on, come on. DRS, make this pass, mate. Make this pass on the outside. There we go. Bit of deploy afterwards. Yellow flags for what? As Vettel is through and ahead of Hamilton. Competitor Hamilton wan, ran down. wide, apparently. Oh, it's Hamilton. Hamilton ran wide and gifted Vettel the place. So Vettel on the outside. And Lewis. <laughs> you know what? That could have been curtains for Vettel if uh, he was uh, in his path there. So quite thankful that didn't end up in misery. Right, now Seb's on the back of Sonoda, which is good. And Lando's broken DRS, so we can go and calm the things down a bit there. Okay, so we're five and six now. Good progress. Leclerc and Alonso are just ahead of us, so they're within reach. Then it's a bigger gulf to Red Bull. And Verstappen, well, I, I don't know when it's happened, but Verstappen is overtaking Piastri for the lead. On mediums, he is. Piastri's on soft, so 100% Piastri's doing a two-stop. I'm pretty sure Verstappen is as well. I think he's doing the... The, the soft, medium, hard strategy, whereas Piastri's doing soft, soft, medium, maybe? Maybe Verstappen's going to go on softs again. If he if he goes on softs again, that's maybe a problem for us because he's going to be very quick on softs whilst we're trying to nurse out these hard tyres. That's going to be maybe the issue that stops us getting this one-two. And Seb is closing in on Lando, and Lando's closed up to these two. We need to kind of clear them. ASAP, to be honest. So let's fast forward through to the final lap here. This final corner. Right, now we go. A bit of aggression. There we go. Lando, double pass, maybe. Double pass. He's still trying to overtake the Aston, but can he dive down the inside of the Ferrari? Ooh, thought about it. Thought about it. Come on, come on, come on. Round the outside. Let's go a bit of deploy. Deploy for Seb as well. Can Seb get through on the outside of the Aston? Here we go. The double outside pass. Lando's through ahead of Leclerc. And we are through on the outside. Off Fernando Alonso. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Yes, yes. Come on, keep your foot in, keep your foot in, keep your foot in, mate. Come on. One last dance here in Abu Dhabi, and it's a good move for Sebastian Vettel. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Get past Leclerc now, Seb. Come on, your old Ferrari teammate. You can do this. Should be an easy pass, actually, on the inside there. Come on, deploy. I'll use a bit of fuel. Try and push away on this uh, little next straight. Try and stay ahead. Yeah, okay, cool. Calm. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And he's now closing. He's closing on Lando Norris. 
He's closing in on his teammate. Vettel on the outside. Oh, is he going to make the pass? He's got better tire wear. He's got better tire wear than Lando right now. So I think he's gunning for it. And Vettel in a straight line is making the pass. Vettel is legit, legit quick around here in this final race of the season. He's past Lando and he's got better tire wear as well. So, uh, you know, going that little bit longer on that first stint. All right, Ricardo. Ricardo sets the last up the Grand Prix. Verstappen's yet to pit. Piastri has pit onto hards and he's down in fifth place. Eight, uh, what's that? 10 second gap to us. 10 seconds in 20 laps. It's possible, it's possible. I'm worried about what Verstappen's going on to. If he goes on softs, it's curtains. If he goes on softs, it's gonna be so hard to, to, to hold him back. It really is. All right, Verstappen pits, Verstappen pits. This is a crucial time now to maybe just push a little bit here. Push a little bit, lads. All right, lap 45, Seb's got a lot less fuel, so he can't, he can't burn fuel. Lando does have fuel in hand, so I can tell him to push the fuel. It's yellow flags though in sector two. Is it going to be anything? Is that going to be anything in this last stint? Oh, yeah, scientists like spun. Well. The Ferrari spun it at turn seven. Very, oh, it spun it this corner. Is it? Oh, very weird, weird spin there. Right, main straight. I think Lando's going to make a pass here. Verstappen set the fast up the Grand Prix. He is on softs. He is on softs. Oh, this man's going to be tough to beat. Piastri on hards may give us a chance if he fights his teammate, I hope. I don't know. Is Lando's going to try and get through? Really just need to be making this pass and then going off in the distance, really. I'm going to give them a fair fight. I'm going to give them a fair fight. I'm not going to tell them to not, not fight each other. Right, Lando's through into P1. There he goes. Both of them in on deploy. Seb's looking to save some fuel. Lando looking to save some tyres. All right, Piastri's here. Piastri's within DRS now. He's on hards. How much better? You know what? To say we've been on these tyres for so long, really not that bad on tyre wear. Really not that bad. I think we can now start pushing. We've got eight laps, 52% tyre wear. Well and truly, I think we can probably just stick on aggressive for the rest of the race and just carry on like that. Yeah, and Vettel is immediately through into first place as I tell them to start pushing. Lando now under pressure from Piastri. Going to push him on fuel and deploy. Try and stay ahead. Try and stay ahead if we can. He's got no fuel to use. And to be fair, Lando doesn't have too much fuel. Oh, Piastri's right there though. Wow, he's coming out of nowhere. Is he going to go for the move on the inside? I think he is. Piastri getting in the middle of us two McLarens and Verstappen's rapidly catching us. This may just be the undoing of us, of just Red Bull just being so quick on this two stop. Whether it's Piastri or Vettel. Gonna try and get Lando back ahead of Piastri if he can. Try and re-overtake him. Piastri's gonna be all over Sebastian though as well. On board from Lando. Oh, there goes Piastri. Vettel's a sitting duck with that DRS. But he's gonna get it back. He's gonna get it back on the next straight. So let's see what he can do. We're pushing full out attack now. Can Vettel re-overtake Piastri? I think he can. He's through, back into first place. But for how long can we keep on doing this? I don't think very long. And Verstappen's now arrived on the scene. Verstappen has arrived on the scene. He is nearly within one second of us. And he's on much fresher, soft tyres. That is a problem. That is a problem. Okay. Piastri goes on Vettel. Norris has got Verstappen for company. Piastri leads the way. Vettel in second. He's going to re-overtake him, I hope. I hope. Let's use a bit of deploy here. Deploy with Lando as well. Try and stay ahead now. Lando's got some negative fuel as well to worry about. Where's Verstappen all this? There's Verstappen. Uh, Vettel makes the repass. Verstappen does not pass Lando, which is good. Vettel back into the lead. No. Oh, Piastri's come through. Piastri's come through. Oh, Piastri stays ahead. It's close. It's close. He comes back through. These are the last six laps. This is it. This is it. But I'm really worried about Verstappen. I really am. I think he might ruin this whole party for us. Which would be a shame. But, I mean, he's just rapid in this, in this last part of the season. If he was this quick in the first part of the season, it would have gone all the way down to the wire for this championship. All right, he may as well push them flat out now. Five laps to go. Five laps to go. I think we've got enough tyre wear just to push flat out. I think. I think we're fine just pushing flat out. The fuel, though, for Seb, I'm really worried about his fuel. He needs to save that fuel as Lando gets passed by Verstappen. And Verstappen may just pass. Well, no. Vettel's back into the lead. That's good. Verstappen now fighting with Piastri. Please fight your teammate too much. Please fight your teammate too much. Let's watch this from the rear wing of Seb. 
Into sector three. Okay, no moves going on. Let's save some fuel now in this last sector. Saving fuel. ERS is a bit of an issue for Seb here. He's not got a lot of it. But we're saving a good amount of fuel in this first sector, which is very good. Because we're going to get, we're going to, you know, we're going to get a pass here either way. It's just about trying to repass. There's a lapped car. Get oh, lapped car. A lapped car there may just have helped us. And then can Lando do anything? Verstappen and Piastri are moving about all over the shop. Lando going from left to right. It's getting very close between the two Red Bulls. And that's giving Vettel some breathing room. That's giving Vettel some breathing room. This is good for us. This is good for Seb. And can Lando get in the middle of this now? Yes, he's going to pass Piastri. Come on, up into third. Hopefully that's the last we see of Piastri. Deploy a bit here. Neutral here. Okay, now we've got Can Verstappen for company. Let's conserve yeah. fuel. Surely Verstappen's wrecking his tyres. 55% tyre wear. He's wrecking his tyres. Let's go light conserve. Let's conserve through this last sector. Just trying to get these tyre temps down if we can. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. If Verstappen wants to overtake us, he can. Standard. Oh, there goes Max. There goes Max. Max is into P1. He's pushed. Seb wide, Lando's been overtaken by Piastri, but now we're behind. No DRS on this straight, but the next one. So just stay with him, just stay with him here. And then push fuel and deploy. Can we close back up? I really beg we can, I beg we can. Full out attack. We're gaining, we're gaining, we're gaining. Is it gonna be enough though? I'm not sure, don't think so. But we've brought the tire temps back down, which is good. All right, I'm just gonna keep on harvest. Keep within one second. Get that DRS open. We're gaining. Just harvest some more. Harvest some more. Gaining with DRS again. Harvest again. Just keep harvesting. Where's Lando and all this, right? We need to get you past Piastri, mate. I want the double podium at least, minimum. Ties are dead, though. Ties are absolutely dead for Lando. Those few laps are making a difference here. And we've got some fuel with Seb now, which is very decent. That's handy. What's his tyre wear saying? 45%. So Verstappen's back in the realm of us in terms of tyre wear. And we're still harvesting. Just stay within one second, mate. But Piastri, thankfully, doesn't have DRS anymore off us, which is very good. I fast-forwarded there. It's not... Okay, here we go. Lando making a pass on Piastri. This is the second last lap of the Grand Prix. Lando is through, and I'm going to go deploy now and try and push away from him, mate. And then with Vettel, we're saving ERS. We're saving ERS. So much ERS we've saved here. And fuel to try and keep behind. Lando gets into third place and will push away from Piastri, I hope. But all eyes now on Vettel. It's down to him. He's looked the better of the two, to be honest. You've got to say, from the very first lap overtaking Lando from pole position. Uh, Lando won the last race. Can we round out the season with a win for Seb here? We've saved a lot of ERS. All for this lap, maybe, as we go through to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Seven tenths. Save a bit more ERS just to save as much as we can and then go deploy and push on the fuel. Can we gain enough? DRS is open. DRS is open. We're gaining. We're gaining. We're gaining. I'm going to save a bit of fuel here and go neutral. We're gaining. We're gaining. We're gaining. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. What is, what is Lando doing? Where is he? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. Deploy for you, mate. Deploy all the way for you. Just to stay ahead of Piastri, I hope. But I'm going to focus in on Vel. My heart is pounding. Can we get this done? Can we get this done? Push on fuel here. On the exit. Come on. Come on. Come on. We've saved battery. We've got DRS. Vet, Vet, Vettel. Can he get through on the inside? Verstappen with no DRS. Vettel is through. Into first place on the last lap of the Grand Prix. Deploy all the way, mate. Deploy all the way. Meanwhile, no. Lando's been overtaken. He's been overtaken on the last lap by Piastri. Piastri's got him. Piastri's got him. I've gone deployed the whole way, but Piastri's got him. It's not going to be a fairy tale one, two, or even a double podium for McLaren, but it is going to be Sebastian Vettel winning the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. He wins the final race of this season well for our team. Well done, mate. Well done, Seb. That was a fantastic bloody race by Sebastian Vettel. Ah, annoying that Lando couldn't get even just third place there. He got overtaken by his old teammate, Piastri. Ultimately, it was because of his tyre wear, which the whole of that race was, um, was, was worse than Seb's. So it's just that difference of 5% tyre wear, I think, that just didn't allow him to get the podium. So it's not a fairy tale 1-2. It's not even a 1-3 like we had in Jeddah. But 
I think it's still quite poetic and nice that we had Piastri fighting both of us, you know, my former driver, and we had we ended the season with back-to-back -back wins. Jeddah with Lando as a new reigning world champion, and Vettel, a four-time champion, bowing out for the second time in Formula One with McLaren here by winning the final race of the season. That's pretty class. As a story, that's pretty damn awesome. And we've officially got the steam trophies for winning the Constructors and Drivers Championship and Seb is reveling in this final win of uh, his F1 career with McLaren. What a way to go out for the second time in your career, winning the last race of the season. There he is. What a man, what a legend. We've had, we had some rocky times this season. You know, unfortunately, he couldn't be in a title fight with Lando or up there, but this is this is a nice little reward. This is a lovely little reward there. First place ahead of both Red Bull drivers. Really great stuff. Really great stuff. Ending off, Seb P1, Lando P3. What could have been? What could have been? We were the only team to do a... Well, not... Oh, okay. Science did a one-stop, but we were the only successful team to do a one-stop there. And so this is how it ends then. Lando obviously leads... Um, he'd, he's already he'd already wrapped up the championship uh, ahead of Verstappen. Vettel ends up in third place, not too far off Verstappen to be fair. So those three four races where he just wasn't really in a groove, we had some crashes, penalties that made the difference for Seb not getting second place and a one two in the drivers championship. Constructors though, we've we've smashed Red Bull. Um, you know, over a hundred points ahead of Red Bull. That's a very successful season. Uh, ten wins, Te a nice round. 10 wins this season, 13 podiums, 7 fastest laps, 8 pole positions. That is this season over. Guys, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. When you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'm not too sure what my plans are for this game going forwards. I think we're going to take a little breather at the end of this season, and then I'll, I'll assess what I want to do going forward. So let me know what you might like to see in terms of, you know, should I continue this save and move to a new team? Should we just start a new save? Let me know. I think we should probably continue the save and just change teams, maybe. That would be quite interesting because that's a new feature on this year's game. But let me know, and that will eventually come out. But uh, that has been the end of the return to glory for McLaren. We've achieved it, and with 10 wins in a season as well. Mega stuff.